You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, we're going to talk about something we've been keeping an eye on on this channel. And that, of course, is the Kansas City Chiefs and their stadium situation. As we know, there was a failed vote on a sales tax extension that would have allowed the Kansas City Chiefs to have had Arrowhead Stadium renovated and allowed the Royals to have built the stadium. And the team president of the Chiefs uh, along the way has made it known that before the vote that there was a real chance they would look into other options. Now that's how uh, team owners and team presidents like to threaten fans with the idea that they might actually move. Now, in case you don't know, there's a movement by the Dallas mayor. I think he's, I think he's serious. I didn't initially. Now I think he's more serious. I think he'd like to see the chiefs in Dallas. It's well known. Look, people around Dallas believe there's enough inf infrastructure and enough people now for two NFL teams. Now, Jerry Jones, that's another story, all right? I don't know that he'll ever sign off on it. But if he can figure out how to line his own pocket, maybe by way of stadium lease or something like that, I bet Jerry, I bet his attitude would turn around quick. And we've got uh, the Kansas governor, and there's a movement out of Kansas to try to get the Chiefs over into Kansas. Kansas governor has come out and made a statement as well. But let's get to the Chiefs president who once again, and I know a lot of Chiefs fans are like, they're absolutely not going anywhere. Also said every fan that has lost an NFL team. No fan wants to think about, and I don't blame them, no fan wants to think about their team ever going anywhere. Uh, but it happens, and we've seen it happen time and time again. So, Mark Donovan making these these almost used car dealer, shady, shyster lawyer kind of comments. Uh, kind of threatening, but not quite enough to completely want to own it. You know what I'm talking about. So, uh, Florio on this. The month began with the Chiefs' failure to secure the public funding for the renovation of Arrowhead Stadium. Now, Florio points something out that's, that's, that's smart here. Again, this vote was a landslide. It was overwhelmingly rejected, which makes you wonder, where do you make that up at? All right? They didn't want it. It got, it got rejected to the point, I don't know if you come up with something that separates you from the Royals. I don't know. Speaking this week at the CAA World Congress of Sport, Team President Mark Donovan reiterated that the Chiefs will be considering their options for the future. Quote, we've done this twice, the last two times we've done it, with either eight years or seven years left on a lease, Donovan said. Via Ben Fisher of Sports Business Journal, we're down to six right now. We've got the World Cup in 2026. We've got to get through that. So it's a bit of a timer, uh, tighter time frame. But we'll look at options and we'll create a good solution. Good solution for who, though? Chiefs fans in Kansas City or for the team itself? I, I, they're, look, these owners are always going to worry about themselves over everybody else. Donovan's comments follow a SBJ report that failed Jackson County vote Quote, was never about the Chiefs, our team owner Clark Hunt, but it was always about downtown baseball for the Royals. That report cites unnamed sources. Yeah, but that sounds kind of pro-Chiefs. If those sources are anyway tied to the Chiefs, there we go. The report is a little suspect and self-serving, frankly. The Chiefs have every reason to sell the idea that it wasn't their fault the vote failed and that the defeat wasn't a referendum on the team or hunt. Even if the team's fingerprints aren't on that reporting, they still look foolish for hitching their wagons to the Royals and for trying so hard to boost a measure that lost so badly. 
That's the surprising part. It was not even close. As the Chiefs repeatedly said, they were simply seeking an extension of existing sales tax. But it didn't fail by a razor-thin margin. It was a landslide. And if the Chiefs believe they would have won if they'd have broken themselves away from baseball, well, why didn't they? That's a good question. That's a good question. If At, at the very worst, it could have, uh, at the very least, it could have been a really bad business move. You know, hitching your wagon to the Chiefs uh, or to the Royals. Uh, we know baseball is not nearly as popular. Now, I don't know what the Royals draw, but let's be honest. It's it, The National Football League is certainly more of a national brand, and baseball is not. It's a regional sport now. Um, there's just more fire around a football team, particularly one that's had so much success as of late. So now let's get to Governor Laura Kelly because she's claiming that she is not trying to recruit the Chiefs across the state line. And I'm talking about Kansas. Some officials in Kansas are trying to get the Chiefs to move across state lines, but the governor says she's not involved. Democratic Governor Laura Kelly says she has no plans to recruit the Kansas City Chiefs to Kansas after voters across state lines rebuffed an effort to upgrade Arrowhead Stadium with tax dollars. Quote, probably over half the people in the stands any given Sunday are Kansansons. She said, we claim them as our team, but we recognize it's probably in their best interest to stay where they are, so we won't be making any overtures to the Chiefs. Earlier this month, voters in Jackson County, Missouri, rejected an attempt to renew the 3 8 sent sales tax that would have funded renovations at Arrowhead Stadium and built a new downtown Kansas City ballpark for the Royals. After the failed vote, some state leaders expressed interest in trying to bring the Chiefs, get the Chiefs, to relocate and build a new stadium. Quote, Jackson County fumbled, and that was a House former House Speaker Ron Rickman, a Republican, now there will be a mad scramble for the ball, and we're trying to get in best position to scoop and score. As, a, as for Chiefs leadership, President Mark Donovan has remained ready to extend a long-standing partnership with Jackson County. Yeah, that's not really true. Uh, I don't know why they would come out and say that, because multiple times he's definitely said things that would make you think, yeah, we're open for business. Again, he said, we'll look at all options. We'll look at other options. You know? And before the vote, he just out and out talked about, you know, we'd like to stay here, but, you know, is he doing everything? I I disagree. I disagree. Uh, One thing is clear. The public has gotten to a point where they just, I don't think, want to carry the expense of these stadiums. Now, uh, there's a lot of jobs and inf- infrastructure that gets built around these stadiums. Obviously, not only with construction, but just having the team around with hotels. And, and again, national sport, people will fly into a city to watch their team play. Uh, that does happen. Restaurants, bars, etc. My gut feeling is the Chiefs aren't going anywhere. But... You got NFL owners involved. You got Roger Goodell involved. You never know. You just don't know. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.